I do think people would love to see a Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman reboot. Has we that- are, we're trying right now. Beth Sullivan's come up with the most amazing um, concept of what it would be. It would be 26 years later. Joe's on board, William's on board. We all want to do it. We are actively right now trying to get the rights to do it. I think it belongs on Netflix. Don't you? I do. Have you talked to Netflix about no, this? No, I haven't, but we're in the process of trying to find a way to get it on a streaming place because I think that's where it belongs. Yeah, and do you miss yeah. that character? I can watch her every day. She's playing somewhere all over the world. Yeah. But yeah, actually, I don't miss her at all because my closet's full of her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and I see Joe Lando all the time. Yeah. And a lot of the people that I worked with on that show are still my closest friends. But uh, she's a great character and she's so appropriate for now. Yes. I mean, now, if you were ever going to have a character that belongs in this generation with what's going on in the world, we need her. You'd star in it? Of course. Absolutely. And we'd have young people there. Okay, and you'd produce? uh, Yes. Yes. Jane Seymour is ready to bring back Dr. Quinn and hopefully Wedding Crashers. Mrs. Clear, I don't... Call me Cat. Okay, Cat. Call me Kitty Cat. (laughs) There's been a lot of talk about a Wedding Crashers too. Oh, I'd love that too. What's the status? I know nothing. I know nothing. You know nothing? Nothing. We got to make that happen. Hopefully it can be good as Wedding Crashers 1 because Wedding Crashers 1 was my favorite comedy of all time. It was incredible. I read (laughs) that. and This is a classic thing of people who do smaller roles in big films. That was a small role. I read that role and I said, this is the role. This is the funniest thing I've ever read in my life. And I know exactly what I want to do with it. I had to screen test for it. Did you really? Twice. I had to fight fight for this thing. And the funniest thing is that the director and producer, the younger ones, yeah. had never seen me in anything other than James Bond. What? So what had I been doing for, you know, 40 years? Yeah, you've had one of they the... They thought I'd been sitting around since James Bond doing nothing. Wow. I know it was hilarious, hilarious. Well, you proved them wrong, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which they, is amazing. Uh, it was fun. It yeah. was, I mean, again, when you work with great people like Vincent Owen and Rachel and Nyla. Yeah, yes. magic happens. But first, she joins Netflix's The Kaminsky Method for season two. And look, they aged her up a bit. Sitting in front of me, no gray hair. What was that process like for you, getting ready every day on set? I loved it. It was really? my idea. Um, when I met uh, Chuck Lauren, he wanted me to be in the show. He said I'd look too young. And I said, trust me, all I have to do is take all the makeup off, you know, bad lighting and a gray wig. I'm there, I'm, I'm, I'm up there, I can be as old as you want. And um, and I went out and I found that wig and I put the whole thing together. You found the wig? Oh yeah, yeah. What? I do that all the time. Pretty much everything you ever see me in, I go and I get the wig, the costumes, do the makeup and show them. Because people are very short-sighted. They, don't, they look at me and they go, oh, well, can she play this? And I, I, so I, I create the character when I go to meet them. So you fight for these roles then? Sometimes, but I fight to make it right. I mean, he yeah. wanted me, but he didn't know, you know, he, men don't know about wigs yeah. and makeup and stuff like that. So you just have to show them. And get this, co-star Michael Douglas didn't recognize her. I've known him for over 40 years, so, mm-hmm. I, but I don't see him very often. So it was a, sort of like a, an old reunion from back in the day and the kids and House Catherine and all that. And then the next day or two days later, we're on set and he introduces himself to me as Michael. Is it because he didn't recognize you with the gray? <laughs> didn't recognize me with the gray. So I was absolutely thrilled. I went, great, yes, I've got this character. This yeah. is, the, you know. Madeline has arrived, so that was that was one of the nicest things. You don't understand because you didn't have to go through this. Get over it. Well, watching you and Alan, I mean, your guys' chemistry, I feel like you put him in his place a few times. What was that like for you? It was really fun. Um, I watched season one and I, I loved it, but to actually go and work there with him, I mean, there's a, there's a certain repartee, there's a certain rhythm that, that things happen. And uh, he's just magical to work with, so yeah. it was really fun. I love my character too. And she's kind of sassy. She is sassy, and I just think it's great to show an older person who's sassy. Yeah, yeah. Is she like you in that way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just color my gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your hair is phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. Yeah. yeah. But you know, gray's not so bad. Jane dates Ellen Arkin's character on the show, but in real life, she's dating David Green. Dating older in life. Easier or harder? Some things are harder, but I think for me, I feel enormous freedom. Really? Um, Yeah, I took my life back about five, six years ago. I decided I was gonna run my own businesses, I was gonna run my own life, I was gonna make all my own decisions. And if I found someone, we'd we'd live together, but do our own things and do things together. I've got lots of kids and grandchildren, Mm -hmm. and and he's got kids and no grandchildren. and, and And I want to 
experience everything that I can with my kids. So I'm taking my kids traveling. I took my daughter to Vietnam and Indonesia and Bali. Two weeks ago, I took my twin sons to Monte Carlo, Florence and Venice. Mm -hmm. And I want to show them the world with me. I don't want to just, you know, have a figure, you know, that when I'm dead and said, oh, you get this, you get that, you fight over that. No, I want to have experiential living with mm -hmm. people that I love and with my kids. So I when I can. You mentioned you sort of took your life back five or six years ago. Yeah. Do you see marriage in your future again? I don't see any reason for it at all. Um, really? Actually, uh, you know, and, and, and if it's about a commitment, I think there would be a private thing that I would do that doesn't have to be legal. I, I never want to see a, a, a divorce again. Okay. So Good if you don't you. get married, then you can guarantee that, right? That's, I mean, that's the magic, <laughs> that's the secret, yeah. <laughs>